Hola, muchachos and my amigos. It is I. It's Monday, and it's a gorgeous day. And I just thought I'd pop in here and say hello. It's been a little while. Um, I may have some new viewers. I, I hope so, because... <laughs> Um, most of mine have left. Um, and the viewers are from Mott's, where I take Mika for her play days. You've heard me speak of it more than once. And, uh, yeah. Since some of them have friended me on uh, Facebook, they have found out that I'm on YouTube. And <laughs> I wanted to tell you that, uh, Mika survived a um, an attack, is all I can call it. Um, I'm pretty sure now that Mika may have come up from the bayou, because when she was attacked by this um, big growling and snapping guard dog, uh, Mika went into an uh, alligator death roll. And you know how they, alligators and crocodiles um, will grab hold of something and they'll twirl. Well, this was sort of like that, but it was the other dog grabbing at Mika and Mika went into the death roll. And I really thought that she might be a goner. But that is what saved her, was the fact that she's probably a southern belle from down in the bayou and uh, she learned at a young age by her friend, the uh, little orphaned alligator, how to do the role. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. She's fine. And hopefully when they get their notice to stay, the owners of the other dog will be feeling really fine too. I've never been so scared in all my life. Okay. And, uh, yeah. And, um... Mott's where I take Mika for her play days and socialization. Um, it is so wonderful there because Mika um, is learning, like I've told you, I think, that she's learning to sniff. I talked about this. Oh, wait. park at the corner uh, have the speakers for our uh, warning sirens. So if I suddenly uh, do a uh, duck and dive under my desk, it means we're being attacked. Okay, um, anyway, so they've done such a wonderful job. Michelle, the owner of the shop, and, and all everyone there have really helped Mika in um, learning how to greet with the sniff and I. <laughs> yesterday uh, my neighbor's little girl was outside and playing with her friends and Mika was barking at the window suddenly and I went over to look out and I said Mika that's not a real dog honey and the the little girl had one of those things with those little fluffy dogs that you push a button on the leash and it walks along and its little tail goes like this <laughs> it really looks real um, and Mika went out. I, I said to Mika, well, come on, I'm, I'm going to show you. It's not a real dog. So I took her outside. And what does she do? Michelle, if you're watching, uh, you would be so proud. Because she went right around to the back of this toy dog and sniffed its butt. <sighs> um, yeah, so obviously she didn't smell anything and she didn't recognize the dog. So then she was, wasn't impressed anymore. Then, today, uh, Mott's also has little challenges, and you can, and they ask you to do things, um, have your dogs do things, and um, you can win free uh, 
hours of uh, daycare and that for your dog, etc. Just different prizes, right? Just for fun. And um, today uh, they wanted um, Michelle wanted you to show your uh, best tricks, like that you had learned. And and since Mika doesn't go to the classes because she's a senior, me. <laughs> We don't need any classes anymore. <laughs> We've got enough class. Anyway, um, this is what happened when I asked Mika to to do some tricks today. Mika, up, sit pretty. Come on. No, not roll over. Mika, come on. And pretty. <laughs> Mika, can I see your belly? Oh, pretty belly. Yes, that's lovely. That's your trick for today, is it? Yeah, I know. Um, she did a better one after that. Anyway, uh, yeah, so um, Mika is fine and life is good. Um, it was a little embarrassing today because uh, I had to allow the um, cable men <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> to come in through our gate uh, to do some kind of whatever they were doing with the cable. And uh, the one young trainee, oh, just a young fella, uh, he scampered up our pussy willow tree just like a monkey. And um, yeah, right up to the top. And he had to do some inspection up there. And then he climbed his way back down and as he walked past uh, our back door there, I'm standing there in my uh, robe and uh, pajamas that the bottoms and tops don't match. And uh, afterwards I realized I had my robe misbuttoned. And Anyway, um, for some reason I said to the young fellow, Oh, I said, you remind me of my husband. You can just climb up that tree so fast. And I said, you do know what you were climbing on, don't you? And he kind of looked at me and went, uh, uh, no, I have a tree. Uh. And I said, that was once a pussy, a pussy willow bush. I said, and when my husband and I planted it, it was just a little twig. And now it's grown right into this beautiful tree. And when I look back at him, he had the same look as my oldest grandson does when I'm telling him a story. And it was sort of a, oh, well, I'll look interested, but I'm not really. Are you finished yet? And um, so I just stopped talking, and he went, oh, interesting. And that's when you know that you are really a senior. Even though I got my hair done the other day and I felt quite good about myself. As of right now, uh, I think I'm going to finish my tea and go out and garden or something. Uh, okay. Have a great day. Uh, love you all. Talk to you again soon. Bye for now. Mwah. I'm out of here.